Hey everybody, welcome back to Tamriel Tuesdays. Screev is running away from us, Joe. She, she's, she's going, wait. She's running away with it. This is like a dream. I can't, I can't wake up, it's a nightmare. Oh, I can move. <laughs> Alright, so, Hello. we're going to talk to Screeva before she heads home. The esteemed cat burglar honors me. Wow, she's hey. creepier when she smiles. Well, I like that, like, she's now calling us esteemed. Like, you know, we're, we've moved up the ranks. Go ahead. She still doesn't like us very much. Yeah. All right. Let's learn our next special job. Hieronymus Lex must be eliminated once and for all. The Gray Fox has asked that you do this personally. It is a most delicate matter. Okay. Countess Umbernox of Anvil is hunting for a new captain of her guard. The Legion Commander of the Imperial Watch sent her a list of candidates. The Grey Fox wants this list replaced with one that highly recommends Hieronymus Lex. From Anvil, he can do little harm to the guild. <laughs> okay, so I, I immediately like how it's like, we need Hieronymus Lex disposed of. And you go, like, because of our time in the Dark Brotherhood, it's like, all right, kill him, I guess. And they're like, now this like kind of mischievous plan to basically just get him out of the Imperial City is like just kind of this smaller part-time, you know. Yeah, it's like, and maybe not even strictly demoted, just, yeah. Like, you know, it's it's the fun, lighthearted nature of the Thieves Guild. And it will have cool story meaning later on in the Thieves Guild, which you'll see. Yep. The letter is currently in Steward Dara Hill's desk. She has lied to Lady Umbernox, telling her that the letter has yet to arrive. <laughs> we are thieves, not murderers. That is the province of the Dark Brotherhood. <laughs> For reasons unknown to this one, the Grey Fox has extended his protection to the Umbernox family and Lady Umbernox in particular. Foreshadowing. While Lex is a problem for the guild, his unwavering loyalty and resolve make him the perfect protector for Lady Umbernox. You will have to track down one on your own. I don't know of any in Breville. With the forged letter in hand, sneak into the Legion Commander's office in the Imperial City Prison and seal it with his seal. Dara Hill cannot be trusted. You must deliver the letter to Lady Umbernox in person. Will you accept this commission? Yeah, um, with I think it is worth saying that there is a, a very... There's a respect for Hieronymus Lex that the Grey Fox has. And because Lady Umbernox will come back and play in the story. Mm -hmm. So... Like, and for her to say, you know, that, yeah, Hieronymus Selects is actually going to be a really good fit for the Anvil Guard, is, it's not that the, the Grey Fox and the Thieves Guild necessarily hates Hieronymus Selects, they just don't they're, like him up in the, their steez all the time. Yeah, they're they're just, um, rivals. Yeah, they're but not, like, playful rivals. Right. Hieronymus Selects probably doesn't see it that way, but, yeah, I don't know. I, I really, really like how they, this, this, uh, I, this story. It's, it's a good dynamic. It shall be done. That is good. Remember, this is a mission of stealth, not blood. Your payment will be higher than normal to cover the expense of the forgery. Okay. Shadow hide the hunter. Let's get cracking. What do you want? All right. <gasps> Map. All right. Oh. Map. Do you, do you remember the um, forger that we meet? Hmm. Oh, yeah, he's in that little shack. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, that's kind of a cool character. Yeah. I mean, he d he's not important at all. No. So, yeah. Pretty insignificant, really. Yes. A master of blade can perform a forward power attack with a chance of paralyzing. Oh, nice foggy day. How much money do we have? Good question. Nine thousand six hundred. It wouldn't be. I wouldn't be opposed to if we could end up getting. Um. Uh, a. Uh, the end to ten thousand gold to buy the Anvil House. Yeah, we're Spend close. We're close. Doing that. 
So I think they just want us to go find a beggar. He called that episode a house party. The second house party in our Tamriel Tuesday series. Oh, right, right, right. My children will find you. There aren't kids in this world, I moose. Alright. Darren Hill's office. Oh, I guess To be honest, I, I couldn't give you directions. However, I'll tell you for free that... Yeah, I will. Oh. I thought we were going to have to pay him. Oh. So I skipped over. I was thinking he was just asking us to pay him money, so I skipped over what he said. <laughs> Sorry about that, everybody. Cool town. Cool town. Yeah. Let's see, can we get in here? See if we can expedite things. Yeah, once we get it, we'll still have to head back to the Imperial City. Oh. Hey, a stranger. What Whoa. Are you? <laughs> just, just <throwing laughs> oh, the bread everywhere. <laughs> just throwing shit around. Wow, he moves like a fucking praying man. <laughs> Do I know you? I don't have time to gossip about the guild right now. Uh... Everyone wants to know about the Gray Fox. Gray Fox this, Gray Fox that. He's just a man, not a Daedric Lord. A bitter I much? Heard it all. They say he's immortal because he's led the Thieves Guild for over 300 years. No one ever sees his face because he always wears that gray cowl. Oh, and speaking of the gray cowl, did you know he stole it from Nocturnal herself? You'd think he was Saint Nerevar the way they talk about it. That looks it. like Jeff Keighley. Oh, yeah. Who are you? I am the stranger. That is all you need to know. That, and I am no one to be trifled with. Hmm. That doesn't sound Something mysterious. Right in the center of the city. Nobody saw anything. I'm listening. Huh. Hmm. Weird. Okay. Well, you keep being weird. I'll leave you to it. Hey. Oh, I thought I saw somebody. That was weird. So, it's been a week. Yes. Suicune 2 has been beat. Oh, wait. No, 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 no. I was confused about what day it is. Alright, it is a week past Suicune 2 being beat. I was thinking this was last. I wouldn't go in there unless you have a strong stomach. Okay, bud. We have orders to leave everything just the way it was. Okay, bud. Yep. We're fine. Just Please just leave me alone. Alright. Okay, Suicune 2 has been beat a week ago. Yeah, so, yeah. So, I believe if everything goes to plan, we've started a new series uh, that we have yet to record. Um... So, I don't want to, like, say what it is just in case, like, it doesn't work and then it doesn't go up and we're playing something else. Yeah. But that's exciting, right? Yeah, I don't want to jinx it. How exciting is that, everybody? How are you enjoying it? Leave me alone. Jetbird priests and healers of spells. I like Anvil Castle. Be fun to live here. Yeah. You know, I bet it's you know, warm and dry. You know, I don't imagine there being a lot of bugs. Really? It's kind of on the coast. Well, I mean, I know just... It looks warm and dry. Instead of like a, you know, Leowin in Brazil. Oh, that's just everything's wet. Yeah. You must be the cat burglar I've been told to expect. Follow me. Oh, okay. Cool hair, bro. Yeah. So, do you like shave it like that every day, or is it just grilled that way? I, isn't that what fryers used to do? Or maybe still do? Fry, fry like fry cooks? No, fryers, like uh, the religious people. Oh. Orin has shown me a secret passage within the walls of Castle Anvil. It should let me get closer to Darren Hill's office without being seen by the castle guards. 
Good to see. Why did I think we had to go to the Imperial City to get the... I don't know. Hmm. Oh, maybe now we do because it's like pointing us out. Oh. Nope. I see you work with the Gray Fox. Looking for the steward, are you? Her office is in the private chambers, but she's not there much. You can find her in the audience chamber in the mornings. She dines with the Countess from evening's eighth bell until midnight. Oh, well that's helpful. Thanks, bud. Yeah. I've heard Carahill is a powerful illusionist. Go ahead. If these last plays have, have taught can't. us anything, it's it's how little I pay attention. Shadow hide. Pretty much. Alright. Maybe we should save it. I'll save it up here. You know, these are pretty spacious the secret uh, chambers in all of these castles. Mm hmm I mean, that's a that's a lot of real estate just kind of going to waste. I know, because... But I think it is... It's not really going to waste because it's basically like insurance, you know? It's like, hey, can we use a little part of your castle for a secret passage in case something happens and you need to use it? Yeah. But I mean, if... Oh. Should we go oh. rest? Uh, yeah, we better. All right. Let's go. <laughs> or we can just wrap this up real quick. What? Okay, all right. Okay. Fine. Fine. Um, How much does this wine cost? Nah, nothing. Wow, is all wine just really cheap? I think it must be. Because I don't think I found an expensive bottle. Not true to reality, really. Why it's kind of pricey. Yeah. Whoa, hey. <laughs> <laughs> there's there's certainly some cheap wine I, I've had in my day. Drinking strawberry wine out on the countryside. Is that a song of your own invention? Yep. Nice. I forget. I already forgot what time he, that dude said that she was asleep. Dang it! Shit! Shit! Hey, huh. can a woman get a moment to herself? Leave me! <laughs> okay. She just thought that we were like a pervert. I think he said something at like 8 p.m. Oh, okay. Let us know in the comments what he said. So that we can refer to them when we're... Oh, I'm checking it now. Oh, uh, what did they say? Uh, yeah, whatever you said was right. So about 8 p.m.? Yep. There's 9 p.m. Private quarters. Sneaky feet. Create a potion to restore fatigue. Combine any two normal foods, such as meat or seeds. Grind carefully with the mortar and pestle. Place the resulting powder in a small pestle and mix with ordinary clear water. Wow, with what any kind of any two foods? Okay, what about strawberry ice cream and <laughs> mac and cheese? I mean, even meat that they give the suggestion of. What kind of meat are you going to turn into a powder? I don't know. It sounds like a lot of work. For not really a lot of game, I can imagine. I mean, if you used meat, you could maybe make something like pemmican. Oh, uh, sure. Like pemmican jerky is what you're saying? Like, no, like uh, pemmican, it, like it's it's like little bits of meat that they just scrunch up into like a cake. Whoa, sounds awesome. So it was like a, it was a dried meat cake that um, some Plains tribes would eat. Somebody sees me. Oh. She shit. seems fine with it, though. Huh. Just make it look like you're supposed to be here. <laughs> hey. Okay, alright. So what I'm doing there is the auto attempt, everybody. Hey, that's worth something. Okay. Uh-huh. Hey, Nernroot. Nope. 
Where is this seal? We got it. Oh, do, do we did? Yeah, we did. See it? Uh-oh. <laughs> Don't worry about it. She locked it. <laughs> okay, if we were on the inside, did we would we really have to lockpick that? No. Well, also, it's weird that, like, she walked past the secret entrance being open. She's like, oh, well, whatever. I'm just gonna go lock myself in this room with the burglar. <laughs> it's not my business. It, like in Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, it's a uh, somebody else's problem field. Whoa. Explain that to me. Okay, so the idea is that... Should I it, steal these things? Sure. Uh, it's a cloaking device. Although, isn't this guy a... Uh, yeah, but uh, I mean... Fence? Tech, yeah, possible fence in the future. Um, so, it's a cloaking device, and it works because if something looks like it's too much trouble, or it looks weird enough, people will just... Their eyes will just like slide right off of it because it it's, looks like something they don't want to deal with. Uh-huh. So it's a uh, somebody else's problem field uh -huh. or a device or I can't remember. Interesting. There's nothing in that case. I was just looking for other things to loot. Alright, let's just leave. Yeah, right. We've done enough independent thieving I think for... There might be a spot later on in the guild quest line that like you need to fence like like 5,000 gold or something. Yeah. But we'll, we'll scratch that bear when we get to it. Wow. <laughs> and That's... a pretty civilized army has it, has it degrade normally. That could be a t-shirt. Scratch it? that bear. Scratch that bear when, when you get to him. When you get to him. <laughs> yes. Oh, go, go away. Go away. <laughs> <laughs> are all of the Imperial Guards, are they all just Buzz Lightyear? Yeah, pretty much. To ex ex infinity and beyond. To oblivion and beyond. Whoa, there you go. What's beyond the gates of oblivion, Joe? The Daedra realms of oblivion? <laughs> Oblivion is a daydream realm. Uh, I think there's a bed over here. Provided there's not a hobo sleeping in it. Ah! Be dang! Damn it! Bro! Bro! Should we just go stay at the inn or something? Yeah, let's do it. You know, we could also steal a bunch of this guy's stuff. <laughs> uh, where is an inn? Oh, right up here. There it is. I feel like I don't remember it being so hard to sleep in hobo beds. Like, is this a game of the year version thing? Yeah, it like seemed like if patch? it was first come, first serve, how I remembered it. Yeah. The Oblivion, the version of Oblivion that Joe and I were su super used to was the... Um, the the original PlayStation 3 release. Yeah, uh, with the Knights of the Nine on it. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Oh, I guess I gotta talk to this guy. What am yeah. I doing? You would not oh, this guy. Market for a home, would you? Oh yeah, if not right know. now. Later, bro. Later. Don't wait Is it? Too long I think it might be five thousand gold actually to buy that one. Oh. Owner There's a wonderful room available. It's the best. I Should we just buy that house, Joe, and then go sleep there? <laughs> no, I'll take Can't a bed. We'll do that next episode or something. I'm yeah. It, it's a bit a bit much to to chew right now. Bro, but I'll chew it. Where did he say my room was? There. Not a lot of natural light in the hallway. No, it's hard to see. I, I need a mirror to look into. <laughs> no wonder they all leave you. Alright. Hey, a leak. Can we just like RP for a moment? Of eating that uncooked potato or that uncooked leek? This uncooked strawberry on this and this uncooked grapes. Okay, well the the fruit makes sense. I'm just saying it's like you have an uncooked potato and an uncooked leek on a plate. Like what are you gonna do with that? Uh Ain't nobody got time for that. 
Oh. Agility, speed, endurance. The secret does seem to be hard work, yes, but it's also a kind of blind passion and inspiration. Oh. What is that in reference to? The secret of Onomichi. <gasps> How are you? Hello. Hello. Um. Oh, it was this way. Okay. Oh, do we have to report back to the stranger? Yes. Okay. The unassuming, unimportant, mysterious stranger. Yeah, I think he's. Uh, I don't think he's ever going to come back up in the story again. Safe to say. Why is there two markers though? That is curious. Oh, maybe it's going to talk to a hobo to figure out where the strain who can. I wonder if we need to. I bet it's talking to a hobo and he'll be like, hey, go to the abandoned house in Anvil. Yeah. Hot. I might know. I will dare. Yep. Thanks for, thanks for nothing. We knew. We have the power of playing this before. It's a nice house. <laughs> what do Hello? you? Oh. Your... Hmm. Yes, it can be done. I can change it to give Lex the highest recommendation. I'll need a full day to properly forge this oh. letter. Return then. Uh, okay. <laughs> so, well, ready, to, ready to podcast for the next three minutes? Yeah, so, uh... Everybody, close your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> we, we finished Kingdom Hearts yesterday. Whoa! Kingdom Hearts 3. Yeah! Yesterday is like two weeks ago for you. Yeah. What did you think, Jacob? I loved it. What did you think? I thought it was a mess. I but give Kingdom Hearts 3 a 3 out of 5. Out of five. <laughs> <laughs> You're bothering me. Well, easy, Do buddy. You have my fee. Here is the new list of candidates. Euronymous Lex has a glowing recommendation. It's weird that he is asking for a fee when you... 500 gold? Yeah, what? Ah. Yeah. When this is all for him, ultimately. <laughs> I know, uh, I mean... No spoilers. No spoil. So where do we go now? So now do we go to the... Oh. Real City Prison. Okay. This would be hard on a no fast travel playthrough. I, I don't think it would be hard. I think it would be immersive and fun. And time consuming. Very time consuming. But like what I like about not fast traveling is that you stumble upon all kinds of fun adventures on the way. Mm-hmm. You know. It's when I... Anytime I start an Elder Scrolls game... I at least spend the first dozen or so hours not fast traveling, just to be the most immersed. Immersive experience. <laughs> Thank you, Phil Spencer. Uh, just stand in there. Okay. Why are we so goddamn visible right now? <laughs> uh, probably because we're wearing black robes and it's like the middle of the day. Nobody's even goddamn looking at us. <laughs> that guy, I guess? Ugh. Do you want right, to wait? We'll wait till night. So yeah, Kingdom Hearts. What a mess. Yeah... Um, I think the last... What was it, the last thing I said, Joe? Like, we... So, we beat it, and then we immediately went and watched this secret ending movie, and we were like, 
then we're like, oh, well, here's some videos set explaining what it means. And like both of those videos were just really bad and stupid. And I said, you know, Joe, I just don't think any of it means anything. And then I don't think we talked about it anymore after that. Yeah. And I think that sums up Kingdom Hearts. I don't think any of it really means anything. <laughs> yeah. I mean, there's things I obviously really like about it. I think 3, like, is maybe, like, the worst narratively out of all the Kingdom Hearts games. And structurally, I think. It's all oh, god damn it. Breaker. Well, that's, it looks like a uh, droopy dog. I oh. never, I never liked him. <laughs> it's me in a couple of years. Well, oh, that's generous. <laughs> me a couple of years ago. <laughs> oh damn it. Um, but yeah, I mean, so like, one of the things, but like the ending still was like kind of powerful in some ways, you know. The the it did head in that direction more than I thought it would. Um, but, I, you know, just clumsy throughout. Glad I played it with you. I think yeah. it was important to play kind of as a cultural touchstone sort of moment. Um, but, yeah, I think, you know, where some series, like, they... Or like video games, you finish it and you're like, oh, where does it go next? Or I can't wait to see. Or, you know, I want more of this. I don't want any more Kingdom Hearts ever. Yeah, like, so the, 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 like the heart, like, it's got a good heart. And like, I just really wish that it understood what was good about it. Because I don't think it does. It spends so much time on like really dumb things. And not enough time on like, uh you know like friendship truly and there are good things there uh which makes it frustrating uh, whoa dwarven dwarven stuff huh yeah okay i think it's in the desk right <laughs> oh, oh my god <laughs> <laughs> Use that as the seal. <laughs> Should I take this? Okay. Or I think is it funny or just to leave it in there? It's it's funny to take it. Okay. That's super funny. I've acquired the severed finger of Adamas Philida with a ring still attached. I should go now to oh, the Imperial wow. City and place the what? finger in the desk of Philida's Imperial Legion successor. In his office in the We need to do it again? That would be funny. Oh, Chief is alive again. <laughs> Should I place it now? <laughs> yeah, just so it doesn't fuck anything up. It might have already. <laughs> That's funny. That is funny. Yep. Okay. Where is this damn seal thing we're supposed to get? Is it in his uh, room? Oh, there it is. Oh, that very phallic looking object. <laughs> Uh, that's not the seal. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I've sealed the... Oh, okay. okay, yeah. Sorry. It's a seal. We sealed... We sealed a seal. Sealed seal? Yes. Well, we drink black seal rum? We are drinking black seal rum. Well, we listen to seal? Uh, kiss from a rose? A kiss from a rose. Um, I kind of want to like. It's a wait. Wait, is Seal in the room with us? Uh, yeah, actually. So it doesn't look like that quest is actually under current quests. Okay, good. It's a good song. So, do you prefer Kiss from a Rose or Fly Like an Eagle? Uh, the Steve Miller Band version? Well, no, I mean, the Seal. We're talking about Seal. Kiss from a Rose, obviously. The, like, no question. What? Do you like Fly by, Fly Like an Eagle? No, I'm just thinking of the only two Seal songs I know of. 
Just making small talk, man. Turn, keep on slipping, Stay slipping, up. slipping. I am Melona Umbranox, oh. Countess of Anvil. I hope you enjoy your visit. I trust you will give us no cause to regret our hospitality to strangers. Oh, strangers. I know a stranger. She looks a little like the gal who plays Mal on Fly of the Concords. Oh, yeah. Kind of. You have the Imperial Watch recommendation Maybe from my new bit. guard, Captain. Normally, these missives are handled by my steward, Darahill. Let me see that. Hmm. Hieronymus Lex looks like the best choice. I was about to give the position to Darahill's cousin. I have the orders right there. I'll fill in his name, and you can deliver it to Captain Lex. Thank you, Courier. My steward will tip you. <laughs> uh, I don't want your steward to you tip me. Are you the steward? I'm Darahill, steward of Castle Anvil. I think we she's do the steward. Differently in Anvil. Steward! And the difference shows in the comfort and trust of its people. She wants me to tip you? You add insult to injury. You cost my cousin a chance at that job. Take your money and get out of my sight. 20 gold. Make it quick. <laughs> Oh, wow. No. You can only go up from here. <laughs> you can't scare me. Uh, I don't think All right. Um, we're going to take a quick break, everybody, and we'll be back in about two seconds for you. Bye. Everybody, welcome back. Hey. All right, we were heading to... It's been some... 70 years. Uh-oh. Where are we going? Oh. oh, back to the Imperial City! Wait, what? Okay, let me... Oh... Countess Umbernox has given me her response. Now I need to deliver it to Hieronymus Lex. The look on his face should be priceless. I like how our internal narrator, the... is kind of... has a sense of humor. Uh-huh. Like, asking, why don't we just kill him? Yeah. And, you know, wants to see Hieronymus, the look on Hieronymus Lex's face. Yeah. You know. This had better be good. So we're not completely... Oh my god. Damn it. We're not completely an empty vessel. What's the... Oh god, I'm trying to think of the Demon Souls line about the vessel. Oh, so the world might be mended. Yeah. Uh, Give me a touch, touch the demon inside, inside of me. me. Let the world be your vessel. I don't know, something like that. There's something like that. It's been a long time. Demon souls. <laughs> Alright, still here. Do you think that would be fun to play for the channel? Not as fun because there's no... Why is he in this boat? He's on a boat. He's like a deep pain. Um... This is a cool quest line on this, um... On this boat? On this boat that it's an inn. Oh, there he is. What can I do for you? What are you talking about? it? Assassination? What are you planning? Look at that shadow. <laughs> you look familiar. Trouble? I've been reassigned. This is outrageous. The Grey Fox had a hand in this. I know it. I am bound by duty and honor to obey this order. After all these years, he's finally won. Maybe fate will be kind and deliver him to me in Anvil. <laughs> Do you notice that I'll his arm or his armor is like twisting and turning with his movements? Yeah, it's cool. How do you do? I wish What's I had armor like you? that. Okay. Hey, whoa. Hey. Whoa, it's what busy in here. She wanted to see it too. If you need light armor. That would be funny if there was just a, a bunch of the skilled people in here. They say syndicate. Yeah. Cool. Well, was the look on his face as priceless as you hoped, Joe? It he just looked mildly surprised. He went through the the um, was the five stages of grief. 
Yeah, there's definitely some denial in there. Some anger. Yeah. He was kind of bartering, saying, like, you know, I'd do anything to stay here. Depression, the Grey Fox is finally won. Acceptance. I guess I will accept my duty. Yeah. He went through it fast, though. What a, what's a champ? Yeah. Well, I'm Robin's, I'm Robin's life. Don't, don't, don't test him. Hey, boo. All right. She's my boo, everybody. I know her from something else, so. <laughs> it's not weird. <laughs> it's still weird. Hello. Hello. Welcome. The esteemed cat. Well done, Hunter. Hieronymus Lex will no longer be a thorn in the paw of the Thieves Guild. The Grey Fox shows his gratitude. You are being promoted to Shadowfoot and may now use Orn of Castle Anvil as your fence. All right. Oh, cool. Shadow oh, that's cool. The hunter. Hey. Hey. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Hey. 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 Well. Well. <laughs> All right, everybody, that has been a Tamriel Tuesdays. We hope you liked it, and uh, we'll see you next Tuesday for another edition. See ya.